You're watching Macau in Transition. I'm Tian Wei. We're focusing on education today. Earlier, we talked to the students of the University of Macau, many of them emphasizing on the intercultural communication skills. Well, those skills are extremely important when they have bigger dreams of going to different parts of the world to study and to work. On that, I also talked to two professors who have the profession to teach a foreign language here in Macau. Let's listen to what they had to say. And joining us now in the studio, Professor Rosa Bizarro, Program Coordinator of the School of Languages and the Translation of Macau Polytechnic Institute. Meanwhile, we also have uh, Professor Zhang Yunfeng, who's the director of the Center for Portuguese Studies at also the same university, Macau Polytechnic Institute. What a pleasure to have both of you. Thank you. I feel so happy to celebrate the skyline of Macau <laughs> behind us with both of you because you are really the cultural expert. So tell me about your work. Mainly you're trying to bring in more uh, celebration of cultural diversity here in Macau. Rosa. I have uh, some problems to express my feelings and my knowledge. Uh, concerning the cultural life in Macau okay. because uh, it's very rich. It's, um, uh, it offers lots of uh, uh, things to everyone of uh, every age, every kind, every um, taste. But, you know, people always uh, think about Macau, they thought, oh, it's only gaming industry. No, it's not so. Uh, I can tell you, I, I cannot, I cannot uh, enter a casino <laughs> 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 and I'm uh, very happy here and I cannot enter uh, because uh, I work to a public institution mm. and uh, um, I'm glad of that and uh, uh, my cultural life uh, is uh, as much uh, so good as uh, if I was uh, in Europe I can uh, tell you. Interesting. So, you yes. came here six years ago. Yes. Yes, I uh, was a, a professor at the University of Porto in Portugal and um, I always um, wanted to work with uh, foreign people because my speciality is uh, uh, Portuguese as foreign language. Ah, teaching Portuguese as a foreign language. Yes. I see. Wonderful. But what about for you, uh, Professor Zhang, you know, how to make sure actually the cultural roots of Macau is fully explored. That is a big topic as, as facing Macau right now. Yeah, I totally agree with you. We, I think uh, we talk a, lot, talk a lot about uh, the diversity of cultures and language uh, in Macau. So if you ask me to choose only one word or one adjective to describe the city, it should be unique. Uh, and in my opinion, my I can see both of you are proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Uh, in my opinion, the first unique thing in Macau is the diversity of languages and culture. Mm. So, how many languages and dialects can we speak or use in Macau? The answer is four. We have Mandarin, that is Putonghua, we have Cantonese, we have Portuguese, and we have also English. Mm. So, actually, we are living in a multilingual and a multicultural society. Nowadays, we talk a lot about the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, and the Portuguese-speaking countries again, and regions. And it's easy to find that Macau is the only one who appeared in both of these two lists. Mm. And actually, my work is strictly related to Macau's uniqueness. As I mentioned, we may speak Portuguese, Chinese, and English to communicate in Macau. So the translation and the interpretation between these three languages turn out to be a challenge we must to face. Mm. And our solution is intelligence, arti artificial intelligence and, and machine translation. <laughs> yeah. Because with the, uh, with the development of the advanced uh, technologies, such as um, big data and uh, uh, cloud computing, we are trying to make machine to help human beings with the translation. I see. You see, uh, Rosa was trying to brief me about the cultural roots, and uh, uh, Yun Feng, you already dragged me all the way <laughs> to the 22nd century, <laughs> the AI technologies. Having said that, though, uh, let me ask uh, both of you, you know, how to really explore the real cultures of Macau. I'm not talking about gaming industry, because that's just one cash revenue for Macau. 
but the real cultures of Macau uh, dating back hundreds and even more than a thousand years. I think that is one thing if Macau wants to have a different image in front of the world, really need to dig and research about Rosa. First of all, to meet uh, Macanese people. Mm. And Macanese people are special because they are the fruit of the a joint venture between Portuguese and Chinese yes. culture. Meaning, the mechanism meaning those Portuguese people or people who are offsprings of the Portuguese origin that stay here in Macau and become a very special group of their own yes. in a way. Yes. And of course they interact with the overall society. For sure. And uh, that's also something very uh, interesting because um, we can see uh, Macau is a, a small region but uh, that integrates lots of peoples of different origins mm -hmm. and uh, every small groups have uh, something to give to, to Macau, offer, yes. to offer to China, to the world yes. and uh, it's true that the food the uh, the festivals, uh, the um, concerts, the shows of everything yeah. uh, speak about that meeting. Okay, people who have not been traveling here in depth, they will not see the real interaction among so many different cultures here in Macau. It's not about that, that we have people here in this part of Macau and then different social groups in that part of Macau. It's really a real interaction, mm -hmm. all mixed. Whatever you talk about, it's about food, the living quarters, the education, anything. So that's probably very unique, Yuan Feng of Macau. How to take advantage of that? Once again, I think that is a challenge, but also an opportunity. Yes, of course. In Macau, we may find, for example, Chinese and Portuguese architecture everywhere in this small but beautiful city. And uh, uh, in, actually, in Macau, it's easy to find the typical elements of Portuguese culture. Uh, for example, the Portuguese pavement and the Portuguese, the famous Portuguese custard tart, uh, which is very popular and famous in Macau. Mm. So I think the advent, Macau can take advantage of his diversity of, uh, of the culture to try to build and play as a platform with the China and the Portuguese speaking countries. Mm. Actually, if we talk a little about, uh, about the economy, since 1999, the economy of Macau has witnessed a rapid uh, girls, which ensured the role Macau is playing as the uh, surface platform uh, for the trade uh, cooperation between Portuguese and speaking countries. Yeah. So this is very important, not only for Portugal, for China, but also for all the Portuguese speaking countries. Uh, Rosa? Um, it's a huge program. <laughs> it's a huge <laughs> task. Yes, yes. And, um, women and men of <laughs> science. Gender. Yes, uh, I, I would say that uh, uh, Macau can uh, um, get the contribution of uh, other academics in the, all over the world, mm. uh, can strengthen the, um, the possibility of uh, doing exchange with uh, other universities, mm. other um, uh, institutions mm. uh, of culture that can also be the future ambassadors yeah. of local mm. uh, interests and local uh, culture. Mm. Macau, if you wish, Go ahead. maybe I could give you another example. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about it now. Uh, nowadays, in China, there are more than 40 universities in which Portuguese is taught as a foreign language. Mm -hmm. So a lot of students, a lot of teachers who is teaching Portuguese, they want to have more collaboration with Portugal and the Portuguese-speaking countries. And in this way, Macau is playing a role as a bridge connecting these universities from China uh, to the universities of the Portuguese-speaking world. So as the way the university we are working, we helped these Chinese universities to have uh, cooperation in the research and we have the movement of students mm. with the Portuguese, with the Brazilian universities. And this, and this will help a lot to improve the teaching and the Portuguese research. If you think about Macau, it really should celebrate its 20th anniversary, many say, because even for the issue of one country, two systems, 
which is a vision uh, set forward earlier by Mr. Deng Xiaoping to have the earlier foreign colonies of uh, China return back to China. Hong Kong, Macau are examples. Macau is setting a very unique and successful precedence for the others to follow. Um, so in a way, how does culture play its role in the past 20 years since Macau's return to China? I think uh, our institution, institution Macau Polytechnic um, Institute, um, is a good example of what uh, local uh, heads can do with uh, uh, foreigner and heads also and uh, proves that uh, we are really willing to strengthen the cohesion uh, between China and uh, Portuguese speaking countries. You know, uh, Yunfang, Macau originally was a small place though, but it plays an important role as ports hundreds and more than hundreds of years. And then there was the colonial time, uh, which when other cultures also came into Macau in one way or another. After the return of Macau to China, there's also a celebration of how Macau interacting with all the latest changes and progress on the mainland. So how do you see you know, these different stages of Macau, culturally speaking? Yeah? And how does them, the, how would they eventually uh, bring out the real essence of Macau? I'm sure scholars like you would take a look at that. And in my opinion, uh, after, after the return of Macau to China, actually the Portuguese, the Portuguese language is becoming more and more important uh, in Macau. Mm. More and more students are interested in to, to learn this language because this language can help Macau to, repro to improve the, the relationship between China and Portuguese countries. I think that the, the role that Macau is playing is quite different from the role in the past years. Now the role is quite different because the economy grows a lot in Macau mm. and the role that Macau can play in the whole world is quite different. It's more and more different, especially in the relationship between China and Portuguese speaking countries. And even for the culture, so we are foreign uh, language teachers. We not only teach foreign languages, we also teach culture. Yes. Culture is quite important for every student who is learning a foreign language. Yeah. Professor Rosa Bizarro and uh, Professor Zhang Yunfang, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.